bank holiday Monday and we're still at mum and dad's. I look really tanned. Definitely not this tanned. But we're going out, getting ready to go out for dinner in a minute and we're just killing some time this morning by going through some old drawers that my parents asked me to look through. Now, this has been my room since I was 11 and there is a lot of rubbish in here. You really should have gone in the bin about 10 to 15 years ago. Including me. <laughs> Including Chris. One thing I've just come across is this paper list of Pokemon. <laughs> Pidgey, Butterfree, Bellsprout. There's a lot on here. And I seem to have a lot. Chris reckons they're all first gen. I don't really know because I don't know the differences. They're all from Pokemon Go. That's why I recognise the names. Did you predict Pokemon Go? Yes! Oh, that would be so cool if I predicted it. Yeah. I don't know how this has been here. But I think this needs to go in the bin. Most things have gone in the bin. Look at my bin pile. It's huge! I have a couple of things which probably should go in the bin but aren't going in the bin yet. Sorry, Dad. Um, but this one is a list. Pre-printed list of all the rides at Blackpool, at the Pleasure Beach, and we've underlined which ones we've been on, and I found it next to a ticket stub, a train ticket stub, that said it was 2003. I must need this. No, you <laughs> These don't. rides don't even Put exist the anymore. Bin. Bin. The fruit shoot. Bin fruit shoot isn't a ride, they renamed it. Fine, I'll bin it. I've also found a collection of red noses. This will only mean anything to the Brits. Nobody else wants to what these are. I still have the hair gel that goes with it. With her, yeah, so you could style it hair. We've just been out for a Monday lunch with my mum and dad, and really tasty, lovely lunch. But now we are on our way home again. We've got an approximately three hour drive ahead of us. Hopefully, it only takes three hours. We will see. Long journey home, eh, Chris? For one of us, you'll be asleep for most of it. I'm gonna try and stay awake, but I have this really cloudy head feeling that tells me I'm probably gonna fall asleep. Both you and your mum were falling asleep while we were all chatting on the sofa, so it's not going to be good for me. I'll try. I'll really try really hard. Okay, I let's promise. go! Let's go home! The sun has come out here now and it is absolutely beautiful. The sky is completely clear. The sun is strong. It feels really lovely and warm. And I have no idea what the weather back home is like, but I'm expecting it's nowhere near as nice as this. And it's going to be raining when we get there. Bet you it's going to be raining. Looks like we're on holiday. We have stopped at the toll road services for a bit of a break and Shep and I are here We're at the top of the hill. I love the toll services because you just get a lovely hill Back down plenty of green for the dog It's just a nice place. The weather's so beautiful today, too Hello, Shepi What are you doing? We've been in the car a long time. We left at half past three-ish um, from Preston and we've just arrived home and it's now half past seven. Four hours in the car, which is quite a long time. Although we did take two stops. We did two different services. <laughs> we got a drink, we had a stretch of our legs. This one had a little walk. This one's quite happy to be home. It's now what, nearly quarter to 10. I've just finished editing today's video. Oh, yeah. Today's video, the one that should be going up today at six o'clock, so it's now like four hours late. Um, it's uploading, there's only a few minutes left and then it'll need to process and stuff, and you guys can have it. If you're watching this, it's already live. But we're back, and I'm just looking at my nice new furniture that I've put up and all the decorating in this room, and it is really nice in here. And one of the problems we had with the way our room was before, whenever it was birthdays or Christmas, we had nowhere whatsoever to put our cards. But now, that's all changed. This is what we've got now. Unfortunately, neither of us really are allowed any more cards than that because, well, there's not gonna be any space for those. I am not erecting more shelving or anything for more than more cards than that, Jen. It's just not gonna happen. I think that sounds quite fair. Mm. That is sufficient cards. I got a package today from Amazon. I ordered it for myself, a nice little gift. I ordered myself a replacement handle for the camera. So you guys may remember from a few days ago, I had to send back one. But what I was really after was what I ended up buying now. It was an extra four pounds and it's this beast. Uh, it is technically a tripod. Well, it is a tripod. There's nothing technical about it. It's a tripod. It's only small. It screws onto the, uh, the camera at the base. But when it's folded, the handle is almost rounded like that. So it's super easy to hold. So it's a nice little monopody handly thing for the camera, which is better. And then when you want to put it down, if you want to put it somewhere stable, it's just a quick little boom. 
infinitely more useful than nothing and the last one I had. There you go, you're on it now. Yeah, I bet you can't even tell. And I'm pretty sure this is lighter than the last one, which is even better again. Jen is iPadding something. She's got a, a box here for herself. I think it might be a gift from my mum for her birthday. Yeah. But she's not opened it yet. Open it. Look at that. Trying to do your birthday stuff. Apparently she's trying to do my birthday stuff. She doesn't look very happy. She looks a bit angry actually. Look at her face. Angry! What's wrong? What's wrong? Busy. Sorry. We will leave you alone. <sighs> Shippy. Shib doesn't like travelling. It seems a lot more content now. Don't know what to do. I'm going for a wee. See, it's so much easier to hold the camera like this. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this! You can have me upside down if you want. Just stay here. Uh oh. Side problem. It's too big for the side. You're just gonna have to stay there. I just opened my birthday present from Chris's mum and Victor, and look what they got for me! Look! They got me a Shep! Hi Shep! What a beautiful present! You are the mine perfect gift. Okay, so that's not actually true. They clearly didn't get me a shirt. I already had one of those. But they did send me a birthday present today, and it's awesome. This um, leave-in conditioner, which is a bedhead one, and it smells amazing. This is the second of the packages they've sent me from Amazon, and I keep getting like inundated with birthday presents. It's lovely, and thank you very much to Chris's mum and Victor because it's lovely, and now I smell fantastic. It's quarter past 11, and I am exhausted. I'm not normally this tired, this early, I'm assuming it's due to all the driving and when I stay at Jen's parents I don't particularly have a great night's sleep. It's a double bed, it's quite a bit smaller than one we have here at home and it's not particularly comfortable. Jen loves spreading out, stealing all the damn space. Guys, if your better halves are like this, you'll, you'll appreciate it. Just no matter how big you are and how tiny they are, they just somehow take up more space. You're kind of like perched on the end, falling off. Come on, chef, inside, mate. It's bedtime. So it makes for an uncomfortable night's sleep. So I'm quite looking forward. Oh, God, that is. <laughs> Hang on a second. That's a little bit better. All the lights in here are quite orange at the moment. I'm gonna have to make do with that. But yeah, I'm looking forward to sleep in my own bed. And I'm assuming all this driving has had me out of focus. No. Had me tired out. So go to bed. Get some sleep. Hopefully I'm asleep before 12. Sometimes when I go to bed I just can't actually get to sleep. Hopefully that is not the case tonight. So, good night guys. I will see you all tomorrow. And I think I might start clearing out that back bedroom so we can start decorating it. Not making any promises, but I'll give it a go. Good night guys. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow. We've headed out into Preston, our old hometown, I guess. And we're gonna go and try and find my mum because we're going to some dinner somewhere. Where is it? Turtle Bay. Turtle Bay. Caribbean.